Hello and welcome back to what I think is episode 9 of this Let's Play on Greenlands. A few things to do today. Firstly, we need to go and sell that grain, our oats, and then we need to sort the silage out and we've got a load of straw bales in there. As you can see I've started record recording a little bit later, simply because we've gone into winter and it's just so dark so it's nearly 10 o'clock and we're just starting to get recording now so we'll jump in the case get this hooked up I need to put that uh, that mowing stuff away as well the mower and the windrow right so I've had a look on the best place for oats is Greenland's Grain Mill, which is that building there just behind us. So, not going to take long at all. I put the beacons on, but unless someone can tell us any different, it makes absolutely no difference to the traffic whatsoever. Which I think would be pretty cool if in FS22 you have something like that where people take more care around you when you've got things like the beacon on. So we're going to be looking at about 20,000, you think? 1374. A thousand litres. It's going to be roughly that, isn't it? Seventeen, so less than a twenty. If we have a look on here. So, what's that showing us there? It's shown we've made 6,200 off that field, but I know that's not right. That's only calculating 8,000 worth of yield, when obviously we've just had 17. So, we will take this back. That takes us up to 80,790. Ah, oh, the bail owner wrap is still there. I thought I'd return that. that left there, I'm not going to need that for a while now. And what I think we're going to do is go over and hire an auto stacker. The one for a round bale is around about 2,000 for the hire, so obviously speed things up quite a lot. Right, so at least times we might as well send these back now uh, 
and find the auto stacker. There it is. So, 2,295. We'll lease that. I'm hoping once full of silage this isn't going to be too heavy for this tractor. I say, no, I say not. This is the 85 horsepower one, isn't it? It should, shouldn't have any issues. We're going to do the straw first. Cell point. Yeah, I've been before for that contract, haven't I? I wonder if this one will stand up because didn't I use the square baler or a stacker last time? I don't know if there's a, um, a height difference between the two. Plus one big benefit from where we started, which certainly I didn't take into consideration when I chose the starting point, was how close we are to the cell points. When I chose the starting point it was purely on what it looked like, how big the fields were, i.e. how small the fields were really. Right, let's see if this will work now. Yeah, loads of room. Okay, so let's go and get the rest. From memory, there was 24 straw, wasn't there? I'm sure there was.
There we go. Two full lots. So 24 bales. For the silage ones, I honestly can't remember what we had. I know we got a lot more than what we did the first time round. I remember that. There we go, another 3,787, up to 86. So when you look and we got be some sort of seven, just over seven grand on the bills. Where are we at? So seven and a half, and it cost us just under three to hire this. And we've still got this to do the silage with as well, so I'm pretty happy with that. Go and get this one first. This was the last one done, so if I test this one and it says it's alright, then we know the rest of them are. Six hours on that one. I think I did that one in game day later, though, didn't I? If I go around to the other ones. The ones around here were wrapped separately. Not separately, but after, sorry. Right, we'll get them collected anywhere. So, 11 o'clock, if we said, even if we say four hours, everything after three, we're going to be fine with. So what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, with the one in the, the other. Or around 14 anyway. I'm sure I'll have missed some in this, or at least one in here. Oh my god, no traffic, what is going on? I have got traffic on, haven't I? Yep.
So yeah, once we uh, once we get these done, we'll probably have time. I don't know whether to pick one of the contracts or to say no. There's some pretty decent bailing contracts and a couple of decent fertilising contracts as well. I'll wait because I think some of the big fields have, um, well, I know some of the big fields have potatoes in them. And according to the harvest schedule, you'll still be able to harvest the next, next part of winter, midwinter. So if them come up, I'd quite fancy doing one of them. So I might just leave our winter contract and see what happens the next in-game day. So we've just passed what just it's a greenside farm. I think off the top of my head that is possibly a sheep and cow farm. Not believe. Oh, are they still going to go? I was just about to say, I can't believe they didn't fall over. That left one doesn't like something, does it? <laughs> and I can't believe I couldn't turn around in that either. Can I get out that end? Yep. Yeah, so I've just been talking about this tractor on one of my Jack Pine episodes. Um, I'm a couple ahead. The way I record a lot of the time is I'm a couple ahead just because with the way around real life work and etc. I tend to get a few recorded in the Sims a few days. Um, so for example, I've got about five videos done the last two days. Whereas I won't get any done for, I don't know, four or five days sometimes. So yeah, on one of the Jack Pine ones, I've got a little, it's branded as a lizard one, but I think it's a Romanian tractor. Um, why is this stuck here? Yeah, it's a, I th I'm sure it's a Romanian tractor. It's 45 horsepower, because that's pretty much all I could afford at the time and um, I'm in need of a bigger bigger tractor and despite the issues that I've had with it on this map it'll be absolutely perfect for the Jack Pine one how do I traffic in this lane stuck it's strange isn't it I've never seen that before Yeah, so I'm I'm looking now as whether I get this tractor on Jack Pine. Cause it's cheap enough. I could pay for it in in just a few sort of trips to the sawmill. Four or five trips would do. Well, less than that if I was to sell the tractor that we have. I think because Jack Pine's so open, there's no, there's no gates or bushes, hedges. It'd be absolutely perfect.
like these three up this bush should fill it up. I say bush, I mean hedge. So just off the top of my head, I think I'm probably going to end up with somewhere between 105 and 110,000 once all these are sold. Which obviously I won't get until midnight of this in-game day. I'm just not sure what direction to go in yet, whether to look at another piece of land. or whether to upgrade the equipment. This field here looks massive, doesn't it? I know I'm not going to have enough money for something like this, but it looks huge. The one on the right hand, right -hand side I'm talking about. Given the recording time, at the minute, it probably won't be this video where I get these in the um, into the BGA. It'll probably be the next one now. If you've got any preference of what you would like us to do next, whether it would be buying more land, invest in different equipment, or even taking a loan out, because um, there's no rules on this let's play to say I can't take a loan out, take a loan out and maybe buy one of the one of the bigger farms or a couple of pieces of land. If you have anything like that then please just comment down below. Let us know what you'd like us like to see us doing. All the road there, didn't he? They're still stuck. It's really strange. Us. I wonder what this back cement cement mix is going to do. Whether it's just going to plough straight into the back of it. I oh, know it stopped. being as patient as ever. I 
I know that these journeys, or some of them, I would normally time lapse, but I was going to try to fit a contract in this afternoon, but obviously we've spoke about that where I was probably going to wait another in game day to see what comes up. Fields gonna need fertilising as well. Still one in there. Yep. get as much of that viewing as possible I know on the last video I'm sure it was the last one of these of this let's play I titled it what a view or what view something like that um, and the thumbnail didn't upload for whatever reason I don't know why sometimes they just they randomly don't seem to upload the thumbnails but the view was I mean you'll see it in the video but right at the top of that hill, at the back, right in the middle of the screen, that's where the contract was done. And it was just a really nice view of the whole valley. Obviously you didn't see the, the thumbnail of that one, because it didn't upload. I have no idea why. It just It's done it a couple of times on the Jack Pat, uh, Pine series as well. Just every now and again, the thumbnails don't upload. If anyone has had any experience with that, whether it's through um, the PS5, the Share Factory, or using other editing tools, then if you could let us know, I'd be appreciated. I don't know if it's something I'm doing, but then again, I'm not doing anything different to when they do upload. Feels pretty big as well, isn't it? We'll have a look before I'll unload these three, and then we'll have a quick look at the fields around the map. Let's see what's going to be in our price range. And like I said, getting a loan on this series isn't out of the question. I'll reset the traffic as well for for next one, for the next video. See if that gives it a bit of a kickstart. In fact, I'll probably do it on this straight here. There, there was a one moving there.
So 27 silage bales, that is going to be just, probably just under 30 grand, which isn't bad at all really. Right. Fields wise. So this is us. Big grass field next to us is nearly 230. You've got another arable attached trousers which is 74, so that's within price range. Where's that big one? 88, that's the one that nearly 400,000, that one. That's one I was talking about when we were passing. 123, 130, 210. So I mean, there's a few around us. I'm just that one, 222. Yeah, so that one will be in price range. That one will be. That one. That one doesn't seem that much smaller. I think it's just the shape, isn't it? That one's within price range, and so is that one. Could get that little grass one as well for 34, so that and definitely that one, but possibly that one as well, depending on what else we can, after a contract possibly. Right. Switch off here, and I think I'm going to end here as well because we're going to be approaching a 30-minute video. So next next time we'll get these. It'll be the same in-game in, in day, and we'll get the silage put into the BGA, and we'll also look like our fields fertilised as well. I think. So thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you again soon.